Behind me is one of the most elegant cars in the world. It has a ton of cool features. Wow. Ooh. Damn. And it has one of the most beautiful interiors I've ever seen inside of a car. This is the 2022 Mercedes Maybach. All right, here it is. Hey, if you're looking to buy one, congrats on being super rich. For the rest of us, let's just take a little look around in all of its coolest features. I think that the target market for this car is, you know, like diplomats, royalty, wealthy, older men that don't spend time with their kids, social media life coaches that uh, make money by selling books on how to make money. Hey, I didn't see you there. I used to live in a trash can. Now, I wear sunglasses indoors. If you wanna get rich like me, buy my book, How to Get Rich Like Me. Let's start off with the front. You get the iconic Maybach chrome grille, which looks always incredible. On the V12 version, you have the chrome honeycomb going on as well. The headlights also come from the S-Class. They have what's called digital light, which basically projects shapes onto the road. When you drive a Maybach, you also get the Maybach exclusive rims, such as these ones. I don't know how I feel about these. I've seen other ones that have more of a champagne kind of look, but these are like almost the classic Maybach rims. I like the other ones more though. All right, and then we have the back, uh, which looks great, but that's not why we're here. So let's get over to the good stuff, the juicy stuff. The inside is what it's all about when it comes to the Maybach. And obviously what you have are the door handles like this, but these are flush door handles. You whip out this beautiful key. Like listening in the sunlight. Oh yeah. Just put your hands like that. Comes right out. And check out this interior. Actually, come around, come around the other side. Come around the other side. Yeah, the first thing you're gonna notice is that everything inside here is absolutely covered in leather. Even this is covered in leather. Even the handles are leather, and you don't see that pretty often. Look, this is actually completely leather. These are some of the softest, little squishiest pillows you're ever gonna touch. And uh, yeah, this is the passenger seat, which in a Maybach is pretty much useless. It's just there for decoration, because most people will either be driving or in the back, you know, on the driver's seat, what you have is a nice little experience. You have a 12.8 inch infotainment screen, touch screen, of course. Then you have a 12.3 inch gauge cluster. And then what I love is this massive wooden panel. Just looks super, super clean. And then you have the ambient light, which is actually kind of like a little screen almost. It's like a little, like an LED display. Usually it's a little line. This is like a full on little uh, tiny screen. And this will actually surround the entire car. You're gonna see that in a second. Start stop is right here. Press that. If I put this on mute just like this, look what happens there. That's actually probably one of my favorite parts of the entire car. As simple as it is, it looks super cool to have it like kind of turn out. So yeah, and again, if I want to just pop those back up, all I got to do is raise the volume. House Korean singer has dropped her pre it's the simple things. And it's pretty hot in here. It's getting pretty steamy because you know, uh, JP's in the passenger seat. Relax, JP. Let's say I want to put the AC on. Look at this. When I press this, get a little blue thing coming all the way around. So when I raise your temperature, I just press that. Look at that. Pew, 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 pew. Little lasers. Also, you have this huge, and I mean huge, panoramic sunroof. And all you got to do to open it is swipe it like this. Just a little swipe. And this thing kind of comes back. All right, we'll drive it in a bit, but let's start with what we came here for, the back. Actually, why don't you hop around the back? I got a little surprise for you. I got a little surprise for you, JP. Oh! Hey, I mean, the chauffeur can open the doors from the driver's seat. I mean, this, this is putting like the hotel valet people out of business. That's messed up, man. I mean, the, you know, the valet jobs are getting replaced by technology. A valet guy's lives matter. This pops open, and uh, this is where most of my back owners will be spending their time. In the back, in a super cozy back seat with a ton of space. Look at that, just appreciate it a little bit. All right, let's get inside. Oh yeah. Camera magic. So uh, to close this door, all you have to do you just pull that right there, so pull, and this comes and closes for you. So this is super comfortable on the inside. Obviously, you got a ton of space, and if you want, you can actually push this forward to make even more space. Uh, all you gotta do is that, 
and all that goes forward. And yeah, I mean, that is an absurd amount of space. I think this is even good for like basketball players. I mean, you can be like eight feet tall and, and sit comfortably in this. One of the first observations that I made was the amount of ambient lighting in the back. I mean, you have them here, there, crossing this way on the speakers. You have it here behind this panel. You have it here. Like, look, I absolutely love ambient lighting, but I think we're starting to hit a limit. Like, I don't think you can do any more ambient lighting than this. Like, if you do any more, it's gonna look like you're in a sunbed. You know, can you, <laughs> that's the next step where you're here and like, you're getting a tan from all the ambient lighting inside the car. You're just tanning in the back. Obviously, what you're expecting in a Maybach is absolute opulence, and that's what you get. So we press this. You get absolutely nothing, uh, but there is supposed to be glasses. Glasses to enjoy your champagne and your drinks. That's where your cooler is, and normally it would be in there. Very fancy. This is your iPhone charger. Pretty significant. Uh, iPhone holder and charger. Heated and cooled cup holders so you can keep your coffee warm and keep your ice drinks cold. Uh, and you can press this little button right there. Press either one or the other, but let's press this one because it's closer to you. And that automatically, with that little piano finish, closes and that looks beautiful. What's cool as well is that here, again, normally you would have a control panel. You can also control everything through here by turning it on. And what you can do is you can give the chauffeur like uh, your navigation, for example, you know, tell him where to go by just, you know, tell him, hey, let's go here. He will be given those instructions. He'll get the same screen. Uh, you can also control all your music. You can do your calls, blah, 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 all that stuff. And it's obviously all um, supported by Mercedes's MBUX uh, system. So this actually comes up like that. That gets pulled up and then this closes again. That's actually super nice. See how the panel comes up? Goes in there and closes. You would never know there's something underneath that. That's pretty cool. No one wants to reach back for their seatbelt, right? I mean, it's like way, I mean, are we crazy reaching back for your seatbelt? This thing actually comes out for you. So now it's much easier to access. And by the way, let me just acknowledge the over-the-top material being used for this seatbelt. I think it's time to drive it a little bit. Get the driving experience. Ah, look at the wheels in the back. Look at, look at how the wheels in the back turn. I genuinely think that Mercedes makes the nicest interiors in the world. And I, I mean that, like, the way that this interior is designed is just in my opinion, it's flawless. The ambient light with just this massive panel is just, uh, it's just incredible. All right, so as I said before, this is a V12 that produces 612 horsepower, and this is meant to go zero to 100 in 4.4 uh, seconds, which sounds like uh, just an absolutely absurd speed for a car that is mainly meant to be chauffeured. And that's the video for today. Let us know what you guys think, and we'll see you guys next time. Later. Thank you.